we are given that when x is not equal to 2, fx is equal to x cubed plus x square minus 16x plus 20 divided by x minus 2 whole square. Now the value of the numerator when x is equal to 2 is equal to the value of x cubed plus x square minus 16x plus 20 at x is equal to 2 and this is equal to 8 plus 4 minus 32 plus 20 which is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is a factor of the numerator. Therefore, the numerator can be expressed as x square times x minus 2 plus 3x times x minus 2 minus 10 times x minus 2 which is equal to x square plus 3x minus 10 times x minus 2 which can be expressed as x square plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 times x minus 2. This factorizes to x minus 2 square times x plus 5. Therefore, when x is not equal to 2, the value of fx is equal to x minus 2 whole square times x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 whole square. Now since x is not equal to 2, therefore x minus 2 is not equal to 0. And therefore we can cancel x minus 2 whole square across the numerator and the denominator in the expression for fx. And therefore the value of fx when x is not equal to 2 simplifies to x plus 5. Now if fx is to be continuous at x is equal to 2, then the limit of fx as x tends to 2 from the negative side should be equal to the limit of fx as x tends to 2 from the positive side. And this should equal f of 2. That is given to be equal to k. Now when x is tending to 2 from the negative side or tending to 2 from the positive side, x is not equal to 2. Therefore, the value of this limit is equal to the limit of x plus 5 as x tends to 2, which is equal to 7. Therefore, k should be equal to 7 for fx to be continuous at x is equal to 2.